Hello friends, thank you for joining me. It's Preschool Ballet with Twirl here live on Facebook. And you are here with Miss Amber. And we are gonna get started in a few minutes, but before we do, I would like to invite you to go find yourself a scarf to dance with. It could be anything, it doesn't have to be a scarf. It can be a towel, it can be ribbons, anything that's really fun to dance with. Today we are telling the story of Cinderella, and we're gonna use our scarf to do all sorts of things like sweep the floors and clean the laundry. So we're gonna need a fun prop to dance with. Take a second right now and go ahead and go find something fun. Today my scarf is blue, my favorite color. All right, my friends. If you have ever read the story of Cinderella, then maybe you can help me tell the story. It starts off with a young girl who's very, very beautiful, and she's very, very kind. She lives with her daddy, and every day, she says hello to all the animals. She makes her arms go down and up, and she says, hello, hello, and she makes her arms go down and up, and she says, hello, friends, and she says, hello, friends, and she says, hello, down, and she does it all the time. had to go on a very long trip. She was really sad about that. She loved her father. She didn't want him to go. But before he left, she met her stepmother. And her stepmother was not very nice. Her stepmother thought she was better than everybody else. She stood up very tall like this. And she put her Nose made her up like this, and she walked around with her knees up like this. If you walk like a stepmother, you can have your toes up like that. Let me see you guys. How tall you can be. Let me see you guys. Oh, Cinderella did not like her. Cinderella wasn't mean to her. Oh no, Cinderella had a very kind heart. Cinderella just said, okay, I'll stay with my stepmother if I have to. And she waved goodbye to her father. She was very sad, but she waved goodbye, whoops, like this. <laughs> She was very sad that her father was leaving. And she went, I'll miss you. Goodbye. I'll miss you. Well, she don't she also had two stepsisters. And her stepsisters were not very nice. They were jealous of her because they thought she looked so beautiful and they didn't think they were as beautiful. And so they were mean to her. Oh, that's not nice. They also walked around like this with their backs tall and their hands on their hips and their noses up in the air. You ready to be, be like that with me? Here we go. Hands on your hips. And they walked And when Cinderella said hello with her curtsy, both of them went through. And they walked away with their pointy toes. And they weren't very nice. Cinderella tried again. Hello. But they 
Cinderella should cook all the dinners and clean all the dishes and wash all the floors and clean all the clothes and oh, sweep all the floors. You ready to use your scarf? Here's mine. Go get yours. First, we're going to make our scarf into... <laughs> Cinderella very busy. They worked all day. Oh, and they had to look for the perfect dress. Show me how you look in your dress. No, not that one. No, no, no. Let's try it. How about this one? Nope, nope, nope. Not that one either. 
Let's try this. Oh, no. Oh, they kept Cinderella so busy. They said, Cinderella, fix this. And Cinderella, fix that. And Cinderella, fix my hair. Fix my hair. Oh, Cinderella spent the whole day helping her sisters. She didn't even have time to do her regular chores. And when it came time for everyone to go to the ball, she said, may I go to the ball too? And the stepmother said, no, you have not finished any of your chores. And off she went. And they left Cinderella there at the house. Oh, how would you feel? I would feel so disappointed so sad. I might even feel a little angry. That's how she felt, all those things. In fact, she did a little dance. She was mad. Can you do 
do a magical spell with me? Let's try it again. Round on the bottom, round in the middle, round on the top, and poof! Turn into a coach. And Cinderella said, oh, it's amazing. Except, well, I don't have a dress. And that fairy godmother, she said, I know. And I have a special spell just for you. And she said, you have to do this. You ready? We have to do our magic spell together. Get ready. Star light. Star bright. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. And she said, start to turn. Okay, here we go. Start to turn faster. Faster, faster, faster. And poof. Oh my goodness. Her dress was an amazing, beautiful, sparkly ball gown. What color is your ball gown? Mine is blue because it's my favorite color. And she said, that's not all. Tap your toes like this. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Shing! Oh, a glass slipper. How about the other one? Ready? One, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Shing! Two glass slippers. Oh, she was ready to go to the ball. She had on beautiful necklaces, and her hair was beautiful, and her dress was beautiful, and she had horses, and she had a carriage. And she had glass slippers. That was the best part. And right when she got into the carriage, the fairy godmother said, oh wait, there's one more thing. You have to be home by midnight because when the clock strikes 12, all the magic will disappear and everyone will see who you really are. But Cinderella was so excited. She said, of course, of course, anything you say, fairy godmother. And off she went to the ball. Here we go. Giddy <laughs> up. Oh no! 
no, it's midnight. Cinderella had to get out of there. She ran as fast as she could. <gasps> While she was leaping in the air, what did she lose? Do you remember? She lost her, her magic glass slipper. It fell right off, but she couldn't stop. She had to get out of there. And the prince, he went and he picked up that slipper and he said, whichever girl in the kingdom can fit into this slipper, I will marry. Oh, that's how you say I will marry in ballet language. Marry. Point at your finger like that. Well, Cinderella thought, maybe my prince will find me. But as soon as she got home, her stepmother put her in her room, closed the door, click, click, and locked it. I can't believe she did that. That's so mean. Well, along came the royal prince. And he was marching. Can you march with your knees? Oh, very good. We salute. Can you march with your toes on relevant? to the house of the stepmother and the stepsisters. And he said, please, will you try on this glass slipper? Oh, those sisters, one foot was way too big. And she tried to squish it and squish it into the shoe. Boing. But it didn't fit. The other foot was way too wide. Boink. She tried to squish it and squish it into the shoe. Boing! Oh, too wide. It didn't fit. Even the stepmother tried. She put her foot in and it fit. And then, boing! It popped out. It didn't fit either. And the prince said, Oh, this is the last house in the entire kingdom. I have not found my princess. And he was very sad. But just then, you know who he heard? He heard a voice. La, 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 la. Singing. La, 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 la. It was Cinderella. He said, who is that voice that I hear? Bring that maiden down to me. And the stepmother said, Oh, there's nobody else in the house. Just the maid. And he said, I have to meet every single maiden in the whole kingdom. Even the maids. So they brought Cinderella down. And she tiptoed so beautifully. She tiptoed on her tiptoes. And she walked down the stairs very carefully. And she tried on the shoe. And guess what? It fit. And she said, you know what? I have the other one right here. She put that one on too. And now she has two shoes. And the prince said, that's how you say my love in ballet language. And they went and gave each other a ballet hug. And they got married. And they had a big party. You ready? We're going to do our down. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
ourselves a big hug and a pat on the back and clap to say thank you and give a curtsy to say thank you like this. Girls go curtsy, point to the side, cross it behind and bend your knees and boys do a bow. One hand in front, one hand behind and bow. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget that every weekday at 11 o'clock we have live classes right here at Twirl uh, Facebook page. <laughs> Thanks, we'll see you next week. Bye.